What's good everybody? Welcome to Life on Beagle Road. I cannot wait until Courtney comes back. I have pretty much, uh, I don't know, lost it at this point. What's wrong, Robbie? Say what? I opened up that hell, they hell, hell, hey, and I forgot that this thing is in here. But you have all this over here. It's all wet. Feel it. It's really wet. Why is it wet? I left it out. Because what? I left it out. Hmm. Left it out. Yep. Today is definitely one of those days. On the bright side, I got that table out of the shop and loaded up on the truck. Robbie uh, kind of sort of helped me this morning, which was good. We got it all crated up last night uh, before we went to bed. And then this morning, we loaded it up on a hand cart and put it up onto the trailer. Now it's gone. On its way to California. Very cool. You gonna tie my shoe? Do me a favor and tie my shoe while you're down there, will you? Let's just check in on the chicken nuggets real quick. Uh, I believe I need to give them more food. I gave them some food this morning, but not very much. And I gave them water, uh, but they definitely are gonna need just a, a bit more food. I actually wanna fill the feeder up the whole way instead of just giving them a scoop like I did this morning. That way they got plenty for as long as they need it. I don't really understand this, but for some reason my son can't figure out that when you fill up the feed, you bring the scoop back into the barn. He's constantly leaving it in the yard. Ah, oh, come on, dude. We are in, I guess, what would be, what, the uh, second week for the birds? Uh, Friday, I guess, would be the second week. I've been giving them the Do More Crumble Feed. It's a 24% protein feed, and it seems to be doing pretty well. They're actually growing quite a bit. I leave their food in there the whole time, uh, 24 hours a day every day for the last two weeks. I haven't pulled it out. I know that there's this whole 12 hours on, 12 hours off, but for right now, I'm just doing the 24 hours a day. For the most part, they're still chickens. Uh, I've had a lot of conversations with Jason over at Cog Hill Farm, who pretty much has made a good living on raising meat birds a hundred at a time. You know, he made a great point, which is, you can take their feet away or leave it there. They're still chickens, so they're still basically zombies at night. And that's not false. When I go out there and check on those birds, they don't care about the feed whatsoever. They're just all huddling around the light and going to sleep. So for now, I'm good. Oh, by the way, look how bright it is in this barn. Who doesn't love it? You find the scoops yet? Uh, Have you found the scoops yet? No. Where did you use them last? I don't remember. Well, I'll give you a hint. You used them last when you fed the goats. So they're either up with the goats or they're in their feed. Did you even check the feed buckets? Yeah. You checked inside the feed buckets. You checked one feed bucket. So there's like five buckets in there. Why don't you check the buckets first and then go out and check where the goats live to see if you left it on the ground. Got it? Got it. It's all good, right? Yeah. Next time, where does the scoop go when you're done? Okay. It goes right on top of the lid. And then you always know where it is. Got it? Got it. It's okay, buddy. One of the toughest things, and if you've raised kids, then you already know this, but one of the toughest things about raising kids is getting them to just use their heads. Just think. Take a pause, take a time out, figure it out, whatever it is that you're trying to figure out, and then do what you gotta do. 
Getting upset never really solved any problems. Crying never really solved any problems. Getting angry never solved any problems. That's not your food, get out of there. But it's not easy to teach that. It really, really is not easy. See, I just put in all the feed. They know that there's new feed. And they're not even coming over here because their priority right now is that heat lamp. It's probably 75 degrees. You got some over here, but majority of them are just hanging out right there, getting warm. I thought about putting a second lamp in here. I mean, the one that's in here should be sufficient. It's 175 watts. I could probably lower it. I was worried that they were gonna bump their heads on it. So when they stand, they are pretty close, but I don't know, maybe I will lower it. One of the little chicks just walked on top of all the other chicks and just messed up the whole pile. Very upsetting. Now they don't know what to do. Every day is something funny with these chicks, I swear. It's like a, I don't know, it's just fun to watch. They're just really big and dumb at this point. They are getting bigger, much bigger. Bye chicken nuggets, see you later. Oh, whoa, whoa, wait. I did stick this five gallon waterer in there instead of the little one that's down here. I abandoned that for this one over here. They, they drink a lot of water and it goes out really fast. I'm not ready to hang the waterer with the chicken nipples in it yet. And I'm not ready to install like the other bucket. So I wanted to do something a little bit temporary and we had a five gallon water in there, so that'll do the trick. What are you doing? Flying what you doing? Airplane. Huh? Flying my airplane. Tell everybody about your airplane. Who made that? Me. How? With that. But what did you use? Screws and stickers. You used nails and a hammer. Yeah, yeah. Screws and stickers, that's how you put it together? Emerson, how was school today? Good. Okay, I'm gonna take this off. I look ridiculous. You do kind of look ridiculous, but you know, what are you gonna do? I think I forgot to put some layer feed out for our, our hens. You know, the funny part about the hens is that they've basically got two coops on our property that they could go in. Uh, three, if you count the the old barn over there that the goats are no longer using. And I'm pretty sure they don't use any of them. I'm, I don't even really know where they go at night anymore. Some go in the new coop, uh, some I, I really don't know. I don't know where they're laying their eggs because I have yet to find them, although I have a suspicion that they're inside of a bush. So tomorrow I'm actually gonna check to see if there are a bunch of eggs in that bush because we haven't seen eggs for a while. We really gotta get that run done and get that coop moved so we can get these hens back where they belong. Wait, let's go find out if Robbie found the scoops. Yo, did you find the scoops? No, no? doing a great job. Did you check the containers yet? Yeah. Okay, so we've got three missing feed scoops. Yay. All right, well anyway, I gotta give these layers some feed real quick. The troublesome part about giving the hens their feed, the layer feed, is that I don't really know where they're all gonna be, so I don't know where to lay it out for them. So sometimes we just throw it out in the ground, sometimes we just put a dish near where some of them are at, sometimes we, we have a couple that are still staying in their their area that's surrounded by a, a electric net. It's just kind of hit or miss where I put it, but I do have a bunch of chickens over here, and it's under under a tree, so let's go. Oh, they don't even know it's there. There you go. Find your way to the feed. Come on. You're smart chickens. Find your way. No? Okay, keep fighting over the stuff on the ground. All right, and we have a winner. Good stuff silly birds I'm trying to feed you just eat what i gave you it's been a while since i complained about japanese silk grass but you see this stuff it's like uh it's like little tiny mini bamboos with these pink seeds on the top absolutely hate this stuff it's taking over our entire property i've complained about it quite a bit in past videos it's been a while since i complained about it let's just make sure that we're all on the same page i just complained about it courtney don't be making fun of me over there in san francisco 
about it because that wouldn't be fair. All right, we gotta help Robbie find these scoops before he uh, literally loses his mind over it. So it's not in there. It's not out around there. Like, where's the black scoop? You check the whole pasture up there. Yeah. Did you check on the deck? It's not up there. I walked and on the through. porch. You looked. Yeah, I walked. When I, was I know you walked, but did you look? Yeah, I did. How'd you get him back in there? Did he just jump in? He was in there. Oh, he was in there? Yeah. One of the things kind of fell off. Okay, so Robbie claims that he has looked everywhere for the scoops and just can't find them. Robbie's looking around is like, I walked around and it didn't jump up and bite me in the face. So I'm gonna look around, see if I can't help him. Are you girls just playing? Yeah. Okay, don't, ma don't make a mess. So the trick about trying to find something that your kids leave laying in the yard is that you have to put your, your mind in the mindset of one of those kids. Otherwise, you'll never find it. If you're trying to think about where you would put it, you're never gonna find it. Because wherever you would put it would probably make sense. But wherever they would put it, you scratch your head and you're like, why the heck would you put this here? Here's something interesting. Someone didn't put the rubber strap around the fence. The strap is what we use to keep these girls from uh, actually getting out. So when they're loose, I guess I know why they're loose. So we'll, we'll just fix that. Hey Stevie, how are you? Don't, don't eat the camera, don't eat the camera. How are you girl? Here, come say hi. Oh, you were so friendly. You were so friendly, weren't you? You're such a good girl, yeah. You're such a good girl. See how close she'll let us get. There's a lot of roosters in that group of chicks you got there, girlfriend. I needed some more hens, not some more roosters. That looks like soup. You're raising me a bunch of soup. This pasture back here is one of the ones that we put to rest and it's doing fairly well. I mean, it's got some Japanese silk grass in it, unfortunately, but it's, it's coming back. That entire thing at one point in time was just all dirt. Like there just wasn't anything growing in it. This is all dirt, but uh, it's coming back. It really is. I made a video of how we shut off that pasture um, from one side to the other, but I have yet to publish it, which I have no clue why, especially this month where I could use a day where I already have a video made that isn't made during this month. It would have been really nice. I put some food up there for you. You don't have to play hard to get. You can go eat it. Seriously. Just go eat the food I gave you. I don't know what's up with these chicks. Like, I come give them food, and then they act like it's the worst thing ever. Till I leave, and then they want everything I give them. Sounds like all the women I dated in college. They didn't know what they had until it was gone. Okay. You're gonna laugh. But you're not gonna believe this. Feed scoop. Even better. It's filled with feed that he forgot to give to one of the animals. That's my life, folks. That's my life. I don't even know what to say about that. Pretty sure I hear him inside this barn having a meltdown. Let's see if we can't curb that for a quick second. Do you want to know where I found this? Where? On top of the hay. What hay? Just sitting up there. What hay? The hay. The stuff we have under the tarp. Did you look there? Yeah. You look there. Did you I remember did. putting it there? Well, I need to give the um, other girls. So. Yeah, but you have to take them goat feed with AC and you have to take performance feed, right? That's two scoops. So dry off the feed thing. Now, I put, the, I got one, once so I got that, I put it in here. So, and so I, didn't have, I didn't have that. All right, so you got it in there? Yeah. So now you just need what? Yeah. Performance feed? Yeah. Okay. Well, yeah. So here, give them some of that. not playing with this. Yeah, you can't leave it out or they'll chew it up. Hey, do me a favor. I know I told you to be outside, but I don't need you outside in the rain, okay? We don't need to get soaking wet. Hi. What's new? Nothing. Nothing? What are you doing? I just, I just came down to pet the cats. Alright. 
Uh, alright, well, the rain has come, and it has pretty much put a dent in whatever we were going to do outside. Uh, and it's okay, because the case of the missing feed scoops has sort of been solved. We found two of the four, so it looks like we could at least go inside and have some dinner. So I'll catch you all tomorrow. Have a great day. I'll bet you're all really happy that Courtney comes back tomorrow. And if not, that's too bad, because I certainly am. I need her back. Fast. Courtney, get on the plane now. Don't wait till later. Get on the plane now. You need to get out here. I need a nap. Like a really long, 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 long nap. And don't give me that stuff about being jet lagged or you worked and you're tired. Get home. I need a nap. All right, girls, come on.